Folks, it's Multimedia Monday, the show that teaches you about the world around you via the medium of 90 CD-ROM software. Welcome. It's time to learn. If you're not here to learn, then uh, get the hell out. Well, Actually, no, you should probably still watch. We, I, we need watchers. I, yes, we do. Uh, I was going to say, I don't know what you'll be learning in this episode. This is like our least educational stream yet. You're going to be learning jack shit. Oh, man, I had all my students come in. Well... They're all sitting behind <laughs> us, silently judging us. Well, they're probably judging me because I... Wait a minute, your students? Yeah. Your teacher? Uh-huh. Do you teach on Twitch? Exactly. Okay, I guess we're teachers now. Thank you so much to Uzi for the 34-month resub. <laughs> I do appreciate Thank do you. appreciate that. Thank you for joining the Students Club here at Retro Pals. And also, they, thank you to Inari Fox for the 22 months. Yeah, two almost years. Almost two years. Thank almost you. there. Two solid years of retro education. Well, well maybe these aren't going to be directly teaching you anything, but it's going to inform you of what the 90s were like. We're going to yes. go back to the, the best decade of them all to figure out where things went wrong and to really just bask in the glory of when software was good instead of bad. Are you ready to do this? Yes. So uh, today we're going to be going through some games by Viacom New Media. Now, we've showcased their games before. A while, while back, I played Congo for y'all on the PC. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also played Are You Afraid of the Dark, uh, which they did, and another Nickelodeon game, I think. I actually was going through their list of the multimedia games they had, and I think we only have two more of their games, multimedia games, that I haven't shown off uh, that I have access to, and that would be... MTV's Club Dead and Nickelodeon Director's Lab. So Excellent. Let's play those. So These are two games I have no familiarity with, so they're going to be new to me, as well as new to you, maybe. Unless you're a real freak like Alex. I am, well, maybe. I, I, I do not have access to Virtual Stupidity yet, but once I can get that running, we will absolutely take a look at that, because, yeah, that is a fascinating game. And as a last resort, I have the Japanese version of Virtual Stupidity for PS1. Well, what's it called in Japan again? It's like... called uh, Virtual Aho Syndrome, which is like Virtual Asshole Syndrome. All right! <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I like but that's that for a lot. future stream. For mm -hmm. now, we are going to start with uh, Club Dead. Mm -hmm. MTV, this is MTV's Club Dead. It was a Viacom New Media game that MTV slapped their name onto. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. 1994. Just gearing up for the PS1 and Sega Saturn. But here on PC, you get this. Yeah, this part is very, very quiet, but it gets much louder when you start playing. Oh god, the whole game doesn't look like this, does it? Um... Oh boy. Oh boy. Welcome to Club Dead. So, here's the intro. It's got Wendy James, mm -hmm. uh, Kate Walsh. You sure it's going to get louder? Yes, it's <laughs> going to get very, very loud. Okay. This does kind of look like a pinball uh, DMD. Hey, John Schnepp is a tooth fairy. Who's that? I don't fucking know. I, oh, wait, no, I know, I know. That's the, they, they take your teeth at night. Right, and okay. And they give you money for it. They got it's the really actual weird. tooth fairy. Yeah. Yeah, this is, does have a, a very pinball aesthetic. Um, and it has a definite artistic direction. Eric Koizel, that's a name I've actually heard. But I can't tell you where. Yeah, it. Uh, all of the footage, it's, it's shrunk down later in the game, but the footage is, definitely has this weird LCD uh, vibe to it. Yeah, d definitely WWF vibe too, yeah, yeah. What was that? <laughs> I don't know, it's an arm. Alright. Alright. G-Rig. Thank you to Krunko for the 501 bits. More like club astigmatism. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And... Okay. Hold on a second. Actually, let's... Oh, it didn't keep my... Let's turn this up. Mm, mm, louder. 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 That's too loud. That is too loud. There we go. That should be good. Sounds like Sonic CD. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> one more notch here. All right, Look that's... at this interface. Why are yeah. there five different things for audio? Well, this turns off uh, 
sound effects. That turns off music. I don't know what that turns off, and I have no idea what that turns off. And I have no idea what that turns off either, so... Okay. You better not mess with it. And... What the fuck is this? <laughs> well, unfortunately, by doing that, it missed the uh, first... Uh, <sighs> the first cutscene. You want to start it over? No, because it's not going to keep the audio levels. <laughs> but what well, you, you can just turn it up. They wouldn't let me. It literally, if I turned up as loud as it would go, it would still be like right about here. All right, fair enough. You yeah, know what you're talking about. So, so, what's the story? Well, the story is you wake up uh, with amnesia in a club bathroom and you pull something out of a pile of green puke. Okay. So let's uh, let's go to the main game. Let's see. Ah, yes. Club Dead. Looks great this time of year. Okay, so you're in Club Dead. It's a cyber club. And also, real quick, uh, thank you so much to Real Soviet Bear for the 36-month uh, resub. Wow. Three freaking years. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah, and I I'm surprised. Yeah, I guess you thank you for finding us through her random and I guess, retweet. And I guess thanks to Jeremy Parrish for linking to the Adventure Pals and, back in the day. God, real, and also thank you to Caleb C for the 69 bits, and uh, Caleb C says, This screams the interface style of Kai's power tools. All right. That's what I like to see. So, first thing I gotta do is I have to check my inbox. So, see mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Frost. You have two messages. So let's check these messages. Surprise, Sammy boy, it's me, cuz, your old roomie from the joint. How'd you get out of here so fast? You know someone from upstairs? You didn't even stop to say goodbye. Listen, Sammy, I hope you never land your butt back in this joint. You wanna know why? Because I found my feet timer missing the day you left. I'll be watching for you, Sammy boy. So long. Oh my god. It's like someone mashed up Crank with Citizen X. I think uh, I like this. Alexandria. Lovely, isn't it? I expect you've encountered some resistance from Spencer Amalgam and his coterie. We are less than enthusiastic about our style of management. That attitude will change. Sam, it is the other problem that concerns me. You and Riley must resolve the situation. Let a corporal not endure an embarrassment. Sam, if I'm not satisfied, you won't be going back to prison. You won't be going anywhere. Hmm. All right, so Hope hey, you got that how do you Sam. think you close this, by the way? Oh, good question. Um, maybe the circle? It's the circle, congrats. Okay, okay so I also need to check... Uh... <laughs> do you just have a floating messaging device in front of your face? Yeah. Hey. All right. Okay, I also... Um... <laughs> this isn't real. Yeah, so this is... Guess what this is? Take a picture? No, no, this is, uh, this is our, what is this, our electronic access guy, our EAG. Oh, of course. So, let's hear about President Debbie. All right. President Debbie, 16 years old, is the youngest woman ever to be elected president of the United States. <laughs> she lives on floor <laughs> nine. <laughs> so, let's hear about us. We're Sam Frost. Sam Frost, cyber plumber. One of Metacorp's foremost authorities on virtual matrices and icon diffusion. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, so you're I'm... you're a cyber plumber? Yes. Good. So here's we can, that's what we can learn about some people here. Here's what we can learn about employees here. Let's learn about uh, Alicia Kent. Well, I love Alicia, Alicia Kent. Alicia Kent, 23. Alexandria Telecommunications Associate. Best known as Miss Magnetic North, 2019. Hey, that was last year. Yeah. And here's where we can learn about different places here, including the Let's learn about pod. the bathroom and the Innocence Pod. <laughs> the Innocence Pod, the Tiki Tech Saloon, the Time Highway. And let's hear about the bathroom. Yeah, welcome to the bathroom. In public, Unisex Body Station is available for all guests and staff. Who wants to hear about the Pleasure Pod? The Pleasure Pod is a holographic environment offering sensual delights beyond your wildest imagination. Designed by Spencer Amalgam. See schedule for times. <laughs> My god, it is too early. Pod. It is too early in the day. Journey into a surreal world of beauty, wonder, and joy. Designed by Spencer Amalgam. See schedule for times. And of course, the fantasy room, which. Okay. Who knows what the fuck the most is. advanced virtual construct on the planet, the Alexandria V Lounger, brings your every fantasy to life in a strictly private setting. Designed by Spencer Amalgam. Yeah, you want to know anything about the world? Just consult your screaming space pyramid. 
So that's that. You don't have a good It just morphs away. And here's your inventory. Oh man. One of these is your one of these is what's being held in your hand. The other one is delete, which I only realized the hard way when I deleted an item I needed to finish the game. Oh man, it's done Dracula Unleashed style. We've actually seen something like this on Sega mm -hmm. CD Monday. Dra Dracula Unleashed is also by Viacom New Media, yep. so I didn't cover it here. Mm -hmm. That was an early release under mm -hmm. that name. It's so a this, guy. this is Dracula Unleashed with Cyber. So yeah, so this is, uh, you can hear about what you, everything in your inventory does. Nick oh, Offerman's in this game? Let's go find him. Vector goggles. It's, it's just a bunch of crap. You don't, you don't really need to A bi-directional transductor, Sam. V-timer is used to kick you out of V. You pick this one up in prison. I won't say how. Cool, I got some cool stuff in prison. <laughs> Alright, illicit prison stuff. Alright, so let's go to the, let's see here. I need to go to the elevator. And go to the lobby. So how do you think you work this elevator? Uh, you pull down the controls using the red flashing light. You're not allowed to look at the fact, honey. You told me to. I know. So there, I have, I only have access to the lobby. Oh, is this Sudoku? I'm good at that. <laughs> My room and the body station. Let's go to the lobby. Okay. Can you die in this game? I do not know. I guess we're gonna find out. Is every room gonna be at a low twisted angle? Yes. Richie can't be bothered with codes. He's got a lot of things on his mind. Big. This is the third time, Mr. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold out your hand, hand please. please. Hey! Hello, policy, policy, sir. Cool. Cool. Hello, Mr. Frost. Frost. Everything copacetic today, sir? I've been better. Oh, I see you left your Alexandra personal access badge trademark in your room. Frost! Look familiar? This game is a ton of waste song. This game is a lot of things. It's Edgelord Untidy Mist. Untidy Frost. Sparky. And I are sticklers. For tidiness. Your room, Frost. Now. Now! <laughs> this is too much. This is way too much, even for me. Okay, so this is it. this is over the line across every line possible. All right, so our PDA now has stuff, so let's download. Yeah. There's Sim and Stim, the service matrix Reblimorphs. Everybody here seems on my case. Why? Now some big nasty military type security guy wants to talk to me in my room. <laughs> it's a Pokedex. She's Alicia Kent, telecommunications associate. She uh, doesn't look like your type, Sam. It's gonna be a while before I forget that night with Alicia. <laughs> so there's Alicia Kent. Apparently we had a night together, and I think she might be dead. I don't know who this lady is, but... Ms. Risa Winters. She's been hounding me ever since I got here. Maybe I should have stayed in prison. She's Risa Winters, public relations interface. I'm, uh, detecting some kind of abnormality, Sam. I'll do a plasma search. This is more than a Winamp scan. This has to be like a real player files skin. were sent to Metacorp on October 28th. Previous files deleted. So, yeah, that's that. And, uh, let's move on here. Let's go back to the, uh... This is pretty appropriately MTV, though. This is what MTV was trying to do back in 94? Yep, 94. This looks like a bunch of MTV bumpers all bumped and smashed together. Every single every single screen does look like a 1 amp skin. Every last one. <laughs> and I'm going to the body station. That's what I'm saying. Why does it need a low camera angle slightly tilted like you're on drugs and you have your face on the floor? <laughs> I guess that's what they were going for. Let's go. The music gets me in this fucking game. Yeah. Look at this shit, Danny. That is some hip shit. Just farting. Do, 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 fart, fart. 
<laughs> How do I know they're talking about me? Because wherever Richie goes, which is always the main topic, pretty one, it's a fact. The only problem is, is Richie only speaks Westy, and his fans ought to speak Westy. Sure, Richie. You know, I could get you a translator. Soundtrack is what? farts, a toy a piano. translator. Mm -hmm. One so you of those songs what that the people's saying. wobbling. It's a, very, it's a very wobbly song, sure. for sure. My Uncle Spence runs this stupid place. I can get you anything you want. Anything. So, tonight at six, I'll leave it in here. You pick it up, right? Cool. Finger kiss. I guess. So, I guess we saw a cyber drug deal go down. Even this bathroom is twisted. Acceptable, JS. All right. So, we got a new message. Hello, Mr. Frost. You have one message. Frost, that hologram you telefaxed me is Spencer Amalgam, the visionary behind the Alexandria. His VR designs are intense. Incidentally, Sam, I don't know uh, how you got sprung from jail or what you're doing at some fancy offshore VR joint, but that stuff fried your brain once. You can do it again. Well, I got my uh, brain fried by VR in the past, so that's it, cool. It really doesn't look like they had proper studio lighting for this, which would explain the weird textures and scan lines and stuff just to make it look okay. Thank you so much to Magmaram too for the 33 month reset. Magmaram says, what a soundscape. It yeah. sure is. I love All the right. theme of the bathroom. Let's download this. Let's take a look at this. These shoes are made from genetically regenerated leather with a poly composite aluminum symbol. Reference unknown. An anklet made from whale teeth, I think. Possibly local species. I'll search, Sam. Mm. I heard some deal go down about a translator. Seems it's going to be dropped off in the Cyber John sometime around 6. Be there. Cyber John! Oh no, as far as I know, all this is deliberate. This is as it's supposed to be presented. Yes. <laughs> kind of hard to tell. It, the whole thing looks like a glitch. Alright, I think I got what I need to do here. So let's, uh, let's go back to out of the Cyber John and go to the Cyber Babers to go to my Cyber Room. Where are you at? 1.20 p.m.? Uh, I'm at 1.55. Okay. I'm about to, yeah. We're both keeping an eye on the walkthrough, because God knows we'd never be able to navigate through this otherwise. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. I don't have the Cyber Brain equipped for this. I love this music. This is the track that reminds me of Sonic CD. I'm kind of in my cyber room with that guy who threatened me. Who we'll starts right here, Colin? <laughs> here at the Alexandria, <laughs> we wear our access badges with pride. You weren't wearing yours! <laughs> Code violation! <laughs> Alicia Kent is dead, and you smell. Guilty. Where were you at 11 p.m.? Down in telecommunications? I have security scans that reveal a Kent Frost liaison. Ooh, evidence. Maybe in the fantasy room where you misplaced your PDA, as in addict? You're very untidy, Frost. <laughs> Inspection time! Personal effects! Half these actors are trying to be Jim Carrey, and I don't like it. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming. Not code. Last stop, the cab. Oh, there's a dead dude in there. Yeah, there's not. I don't like good for nothing cyber plumbers who are called in to fix what doesn't need fixing. Two, you don't measure up to Metacorp standards. Three, you don't measure up to my standards. Four, you do not measure up. <laughs> I love this game's approach so to sound effects and sound design. You can rewind. Oh, show it again. Show make that. Show him making that noise again. <laughs> <laughs> For 
for instance, when they stepped on that guy's hand, I guess they couldn't decide on a proper uh, sound effect, so they just chose all of them overlaid on top Yours. of each other. Ooh, code violation. Exactly. <laughs> so I love this game for being, letting you rewind the FMV. This is too it. too much. If all I was right. to make a parody of these kinds of games, I'd be like, whoa, di dial it back. Hello, Mr. Frost. You have one message. Sam Frost, remember me? Reza Winters, public relations interface. This is a parody. Meeting this morning. Just wanted to say, when you get a minute, please take a look at those pod couplings for me. You're a sweetheart, Sam Frost. All right. It's too extreme. It's too twisted, even for me, and I'm already pretty twisted. A drawing of an open head with numbers entering it. Possibly made by a child. I'll grapple I, Sam. It's bad enough that I don't have any idea what's going on here. Now Alicia's dead and I'm the number one suspect. That's Lewis Scudder, Alexandria's chief of security. He sure looks friendly. Yeah, even Twisted has, has nothing on this. Mm -hmm. More right. twisted than twisted. Now you, ha now you absolutely have to check your inventory and take that this thing and put it... Oh yeah, the inbox mechanic, just like Dracula Unleashed. Who knew that this was a follow-up to Dracula Unleashed? <laughs> Certainly not me. Okay, I have to drag. Oh, I have to do a drag yeah. motion. Yeah, drag and drop. So let's see what this is. It's a fucked up drawing. drawing. Weird. Yeah, I know. Okay, so let's get out of here. And you know where I want to go? You know what else was booming in the mid-90s? What? Tiki culture, baby. That's so we're true. we're going to the Tiki Tech Saloon. The Tiki Tiki Tech Saloon room. Let's do this. <laughs> yep. Die, space maggot! I said die! Die! Whoa! Brutal! What do you have? Well, this game makes us seem normal. Mm -hmm. I'm too pedestrian for this game. You're that space plumber, right? Easy does it. Hey, man, I'm just juicing. <laughs> yeah, just juicing. <laughs> That's me. I used to say that, too. You'd always have to top it off with a V chaser. V is V. Just like that Spencer on stuff over there. What do you know about spectrals? I'm a cyber plumber, man. Come at your service. I'm just juicing. Am I helping? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, ball with the ball. Neo Romans. You speak it? Nope. Yeah, not me. Can't understand a word they say. Illy Feeny, losses for all. <laughs> the regulars, they come in here all the time. So. What it, What just happened? Was he being cyber bullied? <laughs> no! In the future, there are cyber Romans, and I pick up a chip, which I can only hear on my chipulator here. Okay, well, you better listen to it. 9 27 a.m. Pot coupling required a detonation driver. Reinstalled it manually. My arm's still sore from the shot that Doc gave me, though. Just a precaution, he says. Precaution against what? All right, uh... Time to head to floor 14, the medical room. Because I this game seems normal to me. I'm just right. that twisted. And I also have to download my new file here. All right. What the fuck is any of this? How can this possibly exist? Empire. Translation unavailable without translatrix chip. I thought we saw the apex of multimedia madness on Sega CD, and yet... I, I told I am I was so excited for you to see this. A V-head is a bartender. Interesting. A V-head? good blue, though. A V-head. At least someone here I can relate to, unlike Risa Winters or those Neo-Romans. I popped the chip I found into my chip man. Yep. All right. Well, let's... just an average day of putting a chip in the, my chip man. Hey, don't bother me. I'm just juicing. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's not sure. Um. 
Let's go to the elevator. A <laughs> subtitle chip would be a pretty nice upgrade. <laughs> I don't guess subtitles are an option, huh? No, unfortunately. Let's ah, it go sucks. to the medical lab. God, the walkthrough is just like, go through the door and then after the video, and I'm just like, oh god, what kind of video is this gonna be? Oh, uh, I mean, don't you love it though? Don't yeah. you love the screaming? Okay, everyone's on drugs, I get it. <laughs> They're on virtual oh, drugs too. What does it look like? I'm, I mean, yes, of course. How may I help you? I don't feel so hot. Take your jacket off. Let's have a look. Oh, no, no, no. Just give me a couple of these guys. Mmm. What? What is it? Nothing much. A minor hematusion of the left clavier, symptomatic of advanced psychotubular hectoplasm. Uh, look, um, gotta go. I kind of feel bad about talking over any of this, but does it mean anything? Anything that anyone's saying? Not really. <laughs> I think that's my favorite sound effect, that whenever you see something fucked up that you don't understand. It's Alicia Kent, a former telecommunications associate. I thought I'd check out the med lab and find out what's wrong with me. Some guy was there, but I don't think it was the doctor. I saw Alicia again, but not as I'd hoped. It's the access panel to the med lab. Any good plumber can have one of these, Sam. That vent goes to the environmental matrix engines in the sub-basement. Sort of stinks, too. So that's where the shit is. Uh-huh. Are we gonna go there? No, we're gonna, let's see, we're gonna back out. We'll say this walkthrough is pretty easy to follow. You can get to it on walkthroughking.com. <laughs> it's not on right. GameFAQs. I'm told to back out and then walk back in, so here we go. I need to see the dock. Please, sit down. Everyone's very some touchy time in the me, future. haven't you, Mister? Yeah, Frost. I like yeah, it. a couple of times. I mean, who hasn't? You know? Of course. <laughs> Doc, did you kill Rita? <laughs> Your hypothalamic endotissue has completely fused into the most dense, crystalline, gorgeous mass. Well, you know, I've been trying to lay <laughs> off. Brain is crystalline. Oh, that, that sounds like a problem. No, you see, because of a location here at Magnetic Noir, gives us the best V in the world. <laughs> Use your brain to make delicious crystal ah. brain meth. Yeah, he's taking V because help he's you get over those at Magnetic North? How do you know that I've been having hallucinations? Excuse me. Yes. Yes. A terrible thing, a tragedy. Yes. Poor girl. She must have jumped. Yeah, this is a remake Getting of Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. Good time. <laughs> Good time. See you in the pods. He's gonna get doppled. All right, we got a new voice message. Hello, Mr. Frost. You have one message. <laughs> I have to let that guy talk every time. I'm sorry. Can he not scream at us? Sam, we haven't heard from Riley, Sam. Mr. Frost. The situation at the Alexandria is even more unfortunate than we originally believed. The deaths, murders, most likely. Find Riley, Sam. Immediately, Sam. Use your head, Sam. Or at least your eyes. All right. Use your eyes. If got not it. your head. Galaxy data and let's see what we got here. It's Dr. Aster Payne, resort physician. I'll start a background check, Sam. Anything else I can click on? They're vector goggles. Standard medical issue. It's Dr. Aster Payne. The guy I saw earlier definitely was an imposter. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Aster Payne. This doc Payne. is the real thing. Seems to know a lot about V addiction. I hope he doesn't notice Alicia's autopsy report missing. Let's see. And there's the autopsy report. You got Let's it. Put that in. There we go. Looks like a Tamagotchi. Yeah, except it's cyber and we're all on drugs and addicted to drugs. 
so I guess it's like a Tamagotchi if you were like a 90s uh, political cartoon. Hey, I have no idea what's happening either. <laughs> not e not know even what the a little fuck bit. I'm doing. Okay. I'm There's going. a doctor named Dr. Astapane. Let's go to the lobby. Everything looks like a Winamp scan. Mm -hmm. And that's about all I figured out. Okay, now what I need to do is put an item in my hand and use this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save, because last time I tried to do that, I accidentally deleted my item. <laughs> Good idea. Which is very funny to me, so I'm gonna save. Oh, well, at least the save, save options are properly labeled. Cyber. This is very cyber. Mm -hmm. I think that gives you a bonus to your cyber stat. Mm, good, good. Alright, now I need to pick an item. And I think it's this item. A bi-directional transductor sound. Reverses polarity. Yeah, put it in hand. I think that's in hand. Okay, yeah, it says ready for use. Okay, perfect. I thought Dracula Unleashed was confusing. <laughs> Welcome to Telefex. When it absolutely has to be there instantaneously. Please insert your package. Put it in the microwave. It is a fucking microwave. Thank you. Please come again. You did it. I did it somehow. What did you do? Uh, I have to go to my PDA to see what I've done. Okay. Surely this will explain it. This is your receipt from Telefex, dated October 29th. I Telefex to Lucas, that transductor. Uh, yeah, I know what that means, totally. Alright. It was now, at 4.20pm, which explains a lot. It does. Okay, now I'm supposed to... <laughs> I bet not even the actors were briefed. They were just like, say the lines. We don't need proper lighting. We'll put a bunch of effects over it to make it look good. Now I've got a Telefex the... Okay, I gotta move this back my inventory and then... Yeah, the report. Autopsy report on Alicia. Yeah, yeah, the Tamagotchi autopsy report. You swiped report. it, remember? Okay, I gotta... Make sure to clean up its poop. Clean up the shit here. And now I need to uh, back away and approach it again and send off this report. Welcome to Telefex. When it absolutely has to be there instantaneously. Please, insert your... Yeah, Telefex is a good successor to the PCFX. Mm -hmm. Slightly more successful. So many. Well, don't look at it every time you do that. Please you know by now. In. It's fine, don't worry about it. Now I need to move it back into my inventory. And... Glad it still has fiddly adventure game bullshit. Yes. Even in spite of everything being completely incomprehensible. Mm -hmm. Got another PDF to look at. This is your receipt from Telefex, dated October 29th. Went to Telefex, sent the autopsy report to Lucas. Alright, good. Let's get out of here. Let's get the elevator. Let's go to, uh, where do we need to go here? I need to go to the, oh, hold on. So we all have a grasp on this, right? If anyone can give me a summary, just to, just to, you know, make sure you're right. I know I'm right, but I want to make sure everyone else is on the same page. Okay, um, so we're cyber, we're, we're cyber plumber. Yeah. And, um, I need to go to the fancy room here. It's not unlocked. What the fuck? Hold on. Uh-oh, what'd you do? Nothing, it's fine. There's a guy that stepped on our hand. We encountered a bunch of people who were apparently on drugs. Went to Telefax, sent the autopsy report to Lucas. Okay, I'm supposed to uh, return to the elevator and check my inbox. Yeah, go to the elevator. Okay. And my inbox is not appearing. Uh-oh. What did I miss? Hold on. I'll give you your time. If nothing else, you can wander around to all the other rooms. Yeah, I can see what's open. It was a fantasy room. Uh, I can't. Damn! Yeah, let's go back to my room. Oh shit! There you go. You have a length of rope on your pants. Yeah, it's cool. Or maybe it's a plumber's helper. Yeah, it's a snake. Yeah, one of them plumber snakes. Okay, make sure I've got everything in the right place. 
Okay, yeah, the basics are we're a cyber plumber who's been framed for murder. And somehow the things we're doing are gonna clear us? Yeah, it works. Just don't worry about it. Oh, I got my message. Oh, good. Hello, Mr. Frost. You have one message. Let's listen. Frost. I don't like you. You're a maggot. And I don't like you creeping around my resort. But Winters tells me you haven't completed aligning the V composites. So I'm extending your access. Oh, yeah. Dr. Payne believes your pal Alicia was a suicide. Lucky boy, Frost. Hmm, lucky boy. <laughs> Too bad. I was really looking forward to introducing you to my pal. Sparky! <laughs> All right. Sparky. So, uh, let's, let's get out of here. And now you can go to that place that was locked before. Hey! Fun. Let's go to, uh... This is progress? You're making progress. And the room. Ooh! Also locked are the pods. And memory lane. Oh, we got all kinds of treats for, yes. our, for our brain. <laughs> this is the fantasy room? That's my fantasy. Your fantasy is fucked. My fantasy is cancel stuff from Mist. What are you doing here? This music! I'm sorry, do you work here? <laughs> Very funny, Sam. Is this Rugrats music? You know me. Yeah. You're a regular laugh riot. <laughs> I had to move all the way to Magnetic North to get away from you, Sam Frost. Now leave me alone. Well, huh. uh, she doesn't like me. Fair enough. She gave you an old double punch. Because you went, uh, uh. Your reactions are slow, Sam. Okay. I walk into a room and some woman I have never seen before hauls off and punches me. Yeah, I'm having a great day. I'd say you've had worse things happen to you today, like being framed for murder or having to interact with literally anyone. Yeah. Alright. Okay, now I'm told to, after I get my ass kicked, I'm told to go back to the pod, so... That's true, where is the music in this game? This should have a mid-90s soundtrack. Instead it has, it has... I don't even know what this is. It has bleeps and bloops. It's very nice. Alright, let's go to the pods. Okay, we're narrow, narrowing down the Nick Offerman character here in chat. Pretty sure it's that one guy who stepped on your hand. Oh, Hi. Oh, boy. What you put here? We need yeah. some Rolos. <laughs> oh, hey. About a minute. Feels pretty good. But hey, nothing compares to V, right? You do V, right? Yeah, man, I used to. Well, the stuff they got here is pretty cool, man. Yeah, that's what I hear. Looks like you could use some right now. <laughs> this guy's hitting his stroke limit for sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, the party at Richie's place later on. Make sure you get access. You will regret it. <clears throat> right. It's future Peter Gabriel. What is what is with the, the hands? Are they the rope? I got. I have so many questions. Cyber Peter Gabriel is even more horny than regular Peter Gabriel. Unbelievably. Look at this. I know there's sexy men and sexy women giving you a massage, but they're like. You're in a pod? You're in a massage? I just... I have... So they are computer-enhanced replicants. What?! Known as cyber mods. They're replicants! It's Richie Seven, world-renowned sonic artist. Best known for his hit song of it, Whole Lot of V. What?! <laughs> Whole Lot of V. They are computer-enhanced replicants. Otherwise known as cyber mods. So this mod. essentially is future Peter Gabriel slash Paul Schaefer. Mm -hmm. Uh, being, I don't like the way this hole looks. Being rubbed by replicants. Oh yeah, that looks real bad. Alright, next up, I gotta go to the body station. I guess that's the toilet room. Am I still gonna be able to communicate with other humans after I witness this game? I feel like my brain's just leaving my head. Well, like it's okay, leaking. my favorite music is here. It's leaking out through my ears. <laughs> Freeform FMV, baby. Oh yeah, I'm on V, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this cyber toilet. Yes, put your face on the, the toilet floor. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Yes. It's more like a chamber pot. Cool. So let's go here, download some info. This game feels like the equivalent of rubbing your face all over a bathroom floor. Everyone will be there, and so will I, Riley. Everyone will be there, and so will I, Riley. Got it. Hmm. A face only his PDA could love. <laughs> yeah, I can only talk with Alex now. It'll come in useful. There was also a message from Riley. He says he'll be there. All right, Riley. Where? There. There. All right. So you picked up something interesting. Yeah. <laughs> We picked up a cyber translator, and I don't know if you remember earlier, but we needed a cyber translator to understand the Neo Romans. So. So, according to Electric Boogaloo, there is some crossover to, between this, Dracula Unleashed, and Camp California. Jesus! Because these are all icon people. All of our favorite games are being smashed together into one big cyber feast. It certainly is. Uh, let's go back to the Tiki Tech Salon and meet those new Romans. It's a learning, sorry, not so learning. Yeah, use the translator on this game. <laughs> Alright. Riley, haven't heard that name before. Friend of yours? No. What's he look like? I don't know. Man or woman? I don't know. Hey, I've been there, Blue. I was V-Rec 24 hours a day. Did you prep for Mr. Seven's party? <laughs> the vintage blue, too? Forget it, Sam Frost. There's a staff meeting anyway. At midnight, in central control. Please, boys. Yeah, let's go to the sadness pod. I need some cyber downers. Uh, okay. Okay, I need to watch another PDA file. Always. Plasma search indicates high presence of simulants in her system. Cool. You don't say. She's why didn't uppers. Why didn't you say that about everyone else we've examined? <laughs> Look at his eyes. Familiar, Sam? He's a V addict. Man, I'm getting owned by my PDA. I asked Red if he knew about Riley. No help there. And that Risa still on my back wants me at central control for some midnight meeting. Great. Okay, let's... Do, 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 do. Okay, looks like next I gotta go to the medical lab. Wait, I can't talk to the Romans? Well, I, I have a high amount of cyber stimulants in my body right now. I had a energy juice this morning. You did, you did. It was kind of gross. Yeah, I <laughs> The more I drank of it, I didn't like it. Yeah, I made myself some tea instead. Monster energy juice. Don't it. drink it, tea's better. <laughs> okay, so now... I need to put the vector goggles in my hands, so let's hope I can delete those. Vector goggles, hold on. Yeah, I feel the need, the need for vector goggles. Vector goggles. Standard, Standard medical, medical issue. There we go. We got my vector goggles on. Let's uh, go to the med lab. You're feeling bad at the Alexandria if you're sick. You are sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are dangerous. Alright. Trade in. Alright. Thank you, Doc. Alright. Uh-huh. You picked up some stuff. Okay. What I did was my vector goggles were broken, and I just picked up a pair of working vector goggles. Oh, that was smart. Very smart. Okay, so... Um... Guess what I need to do? Download some more files, baby! Oh, my favorite part. I love looking at PDFs. Vector goggles. Standard Metacorp issue. That's the Alexandria access grid on the monitor. Found a replacement for my broken goggles. Hope nobody catches a switch. Okay, time to work with I'm not baffled. I'm perfectly following this. We had broken goggles, now we have working ones. Uh, that's about it. That's about all I understand. Oh, I, ought to, I ought to try Monster Rehab. 
Monster Rehab is my favorite. That's legit the best one. The iced tea one, it's too good. It's I should get that. Well, we have three more weeks of Monster Energy Juice to look I can, to. I can, I can drink it. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are uh, here. We need to go to the front desk. Welcome to the Alexandria. Our service matrix is closed for the evening. Welcome to the Alexandria. Our service matrix is closed for the evening. Welcome to the Alexandria. Our service matrix is closed for the evening. Well, they want that cheese. Our service matrix is closed. No, it's my cheese, though. What? Someone lives there? Go. Have some cheese. One little piggy, one little town, none little nothing, one little home. Yeah, she's a rat. Crandall here. I hear you're the cyber plumber, and my ex is guided swearing at me. Do you think you can fix it? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Someone's projecting some weird shit on my face. Can you fix it? All right, guess what I need to do? Uh, eat the cheese and become a rat? I would. No, I need to... Oh, this right. I never get this part right. Identity matrix now. That's weird. I'll begin an optical DNA check. He's Ron Crandall, salesman of the year 2021. It's a sandwich. PB&J, I believe. Oh. Okay. I let a girl cheese at all. Air ducts. I mean, she was crawling around in there eating a sandwich and talking nonsense. She was eating a sandwich. <laughs> It's always a possibility she's just a V-back. Why'd he say it like that? Son. In the future, we pronounce it Sandwich. Alright, we need to go to memory lane, baby. Of course we do. I mean, the Retro Pals are always there. It's logical. And are there any... Man, the horny rooms are not... Oh, wait. Richie. I'll get to him later. Let's go to memory lane. What's your Richie fantasy? Uh, that he leaves me alone? He seems like a freak. <laughs> Alright, let's exit here. My favorite Richie fantasy is he takes me to Toys R Us and buys all the video games. Oh, that's a good one! Alright. Except for this one. We don't buy this one. No, more sound layers. More. <laughs> These like 12 more theremins. There you go. That's more like it. Male offspring due in T minus 10 lost. seconds. Prepare to release utero enzyme. T minus 5 seconds. We have visuals. Oh, Three, being scooped two, out. One. Release utero Check. enzymes. Oh no, he's going back in. Male offspring experiencing retrobirth. Male offspring experiencing retrobirth. Hey, come back here, you punk. I said come back here. Sam! Sam! What? We, we went back in. <laughs> I need a minute. Or 10. Guess what? We got a new PDA file about going back in our mom's womb. The Retro Pals experience retro birth. No, it won't let me examine anything. Good. Here. My mother's womb. The original V. <laughs> well. Did you hear that? My my mother's womb. The original V. That's right, when Trent Reznor was talking about the perfect drug. I was talking, no, no, no. <laughs> he was talking about the womb. I just, just... Oh man. Oh man. So... This is this is quite a discovery you've made, Alex. I don't think anyone wanted to remember this game. I almost just want to play this and and play as much as I can until we get to like nickel and then play a little bit of the Nickelodeon. Why lab. not? Yeah, let's <laughs> let's go as far with this as you can. Okay. It just keeps going. Okay, let's go to Richie's place. I got 25 bits from Cool Coyote who says the original V. I hate that. I am going. Oh. Our main character's tragic backstory is we tried to retreat into the womb. Okay, let's go. Let's just do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, my goggles are on. Hey, you ever try to retreat into your mom's womb? <laughs> no, but I drink absinthe. Close stay enough. Off, Richie, okay? He's taken. And while you're at it, you can stay out of the paradox part. That's 
my turn. You got it? Excuse me, but I'm the President of the United States! Hey, it's the President! And? She just drink out of a giant flask! Yeah. <laughs> the beaker, yeah, she just drink out of a massive beaker. What is that guy? What? What is... Beautiful eyes. You must be... Lana. Powers. Don't leave Lana hanging, baby. Sorry. I was looking for someone else and... Well, you're not him. Look a little closer, Sam. Riley. Lana. Lana Powers. Right, well, Lana. Maybe you could tell me what's going on here. Good question, baby. Please. Let's check. Okay, when? Tonight. Midnight. You know where? Yeah. I can guess. Not in your worst dreams, baby. There, we got a new PDA to download, of course. I'm wondering where this is headed. That spider savant, bodyguard to President Debbie. I like that you had the pixel hunt for that That's one guy. That's Debbie, the 16-year-old president of the United States. According to the electronic access guide, this is Lana Powers, a guest. But you know different, don't you, Sam? Met Riley. She's, yeah, she's hot. In an obvious sort of way, but, you know, I'm an obvious sort of guy. One thing is weird, though, it was Richie's party, but I don't remember seeing him there. All right. I like people who are hot in non-obvious ways. Mm -hmm. Like, they got a really hot ankle, but you never see it. Oh, she, okay, she took my goggles. Cool. Uh, I guess I don't have goggles anymore. So, so do we have a choice of who to go to see at midnight? Uh, I don't know if I do, but I'm just going to follow the walkthrough, which tells me to go to the pod. Definitely follow the walkthrough, because there's nothing else to follow in this game. Mm -hmm. Alright, 411 pods. Yeah, yeah, pods. Uh, Let's see what's in the pods. Is this a pods? No, they say a pod is like a mother's womb. Oh, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be cool. <laughs> Welcome. Care to dream a little dream a little dream a little dream a little dream? <laughs> hey, here for a check up, Sammy! Take a seat! I'll be right with you! <laughs> Come on! Did you say Danny? You ready for a check up, Danny? I think he said Sammy. Where in hell? Give me a man! Game's talking to me, Alex. Is the that honey, normal? You're just on too much V. Oh, yeah, true. I'm a real V head. All right. Um, hey, what was that? What what happened there? Uh, Why don't you go to your PDA and try to try to figure it out? Visited Spencer's nightmare pod. Oh, I was actually I sick. went to the nightmare pod. I see. Ooh, Wrong pod. Spooky. Just a stupid hologram, Sam. Were you scared? I think I ran to the right. Room. Yeah, welcome to LSD pals. Okay. We give you the real drug experience using nothing but the medium of video games. Okay, yeah, I was in the right place. I don't have access to the main I don't think. I'm gonna have to step up Wednesday's stream if we're gonna get as weird as today's. Yeah, I'm in the right place. Now it says just to... We're gonna have to play Psychic Detective or some shit. Yeah, now it says just pass the time until midnight. Oh, there's a time-passing mechanic! And then go in again. Carry over from Willy Beamish I'm and afraid. Dracula Unleashed. Alright, let's go to the pod. Welcome. Care to dream a little dream with me? This is spooky, but a different spooky. Boo. Like Sorry I'm late, baby. Forgive me. Sure, if you tell me what's going on around here. Murder. One, two, three, and your pal, Alicia, makes four. 
My pal. This is the worst grunge Don't music video I've ever seen. I love oh. it. I know what you mean. No secrets, huh? So who's the killer? Our host, Spencer Amalgam, intrigues me. You think he has something to do with it? I also have my suspicions of those neo-Romans. They're ridiculous. Find out what really out on themselves this time. Spencer. <laughs> we'll talk. Yeah, Rob Zombie's Ciao. fuck dad. Lana. <laughs> What do you know about the Tooth Fairy? Sam. We've got work to do, baby. Bye. We got work to do. And you know what else we have? More PDA, baby! I love the mechanic of having to go to another thing to explain what just happened. It's Janet Riley, medical field operative. I'll begin standard identity confirmation. Ooh, spooky. Just I spoke with Riley. She's undercover as Lana Powers. Told me there's been four murders here. She suspects the Neo-Romans. I think she might be right. You know, for as little sense as this makes, a lot of it does have direct analogs with Dracula Unleashed. I was mm -hmm. thinking how you would see FMV and none of it would make sense because everyone had really shitty accents and you'd have mm -hmm. to... You'd have to go to his diary afterwards and he'd be like, okay, here's what actually happened Hello, during the scene. Frost. You have two messages. What's your problem, Sam? Can't you read an autopsy report? Death on impact. Fell maybe 10, 12 stories. Dr. Astor Payne did the surgery. Used to be a top neurosurgeon. What's he doing as a resort doc? Doesn't jive. Out. Was this an unrelated project that MTV slapped their name on? I would say no, because it was by Viacom New Media, but... That I is don't true. Know. They were firmly in the Viacom camp by that point, whereas mm -hmm. they were half ICOM, half Viacom when they were making Dracula Unleashed. So, Frost, yeah. It's a bi directional train. I blame MTV. It reverses polarity and switches AC DC. Come on, Sam, you're a cyber plumber. You're supposed to know this stuff. Oh, I got some info there about the cyber polarity. And a guy's trying to tell you how to do your cyber plumber business. I hate when people tell me how to do my job. Okay, next we need to go to the central control. Level oh, if this is liquid television, where's they on flux? I bet that part's coming. It's gonna switch to a cartoon. Implant firm? Oh, that was really interesting. Then there was that time. Oh, I've got a great. Excuse me, excuse me. Can you hand me my uh, chip driver there? Yeah, you bet. Thanks. It sure is great to be working with you, Sam. I'm so glad to have you on board. Logan, it's Barrett. We got a problem. We're under surveillance, ASAP. There was that time I passed out three silicone mints at a yodeler's convention. Me and yodelers, you lick. Like. It's a good ADR. Cool. Not really. So guess what we got? Yeah, buddy. Her heart rate reads above normal. Plasma search indicates simulants in blood are increasing. So she is just absolutely just... It's, it's true. Aeon Flux really is more understandable Logan than this. Came. She does sound vaguely familiar. I'm gonna access internal PDA memory, Sam. Risa Winters is the biggest pain in the butt I have ever known. Wondering what Logan's telecom was about. She bolted right out. All right. Hey, so. Joe Cool. I don't know how to prepare you for this, but this is. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, this is an experience. This is MTV's Club Dead, a cyberpunk murder mystery. A la Mist and Dracula Unleashed, I would say. You're making here, good progress. For We've seen a decent amount of the game. I'm surprised. Right. Right. Oh. Oh. What? That happens a lot. Well, <laughs> well, all right then. Hey, snowman. You must be really popular. Everybody's been looking for you. Mm. Okay, we got data to download. Nikki, there is no last name listed in electronic access guide. Oh. 
Is hallucinating being different from being on V or whatever the other drugs they've talked about? I have no clue. Okay, so we had a bad night. Um, Good night. We got spun around and pixelated and something. Hashed and salted. Uh huh, smothered, covered. Hello, Mr. Frost. You have one message. Sorry, I love the way that guy talks. Attention, Frost! Sleep well, slug. We need to talk. You've got access. Get to surveillance now. Now! Now! Alright, I have to go to surveillance, so let's do that. Ooh, so many things are opening. Oh, I can go to the fantasy room, yes! Yeah. I want to see what's in the fantasy room. Mm, I am so tempted to just go there. Save your game first. Okay, you know what? I should do that. Let me save. And, uh, let's resume and check out the pleasure dome. All right. All your fantasies are about to come true. Oh, it may not be. Oh, no. Pleasure is the one that's open late. Not a good idea, Frost. No more B, remember? No power. Alright, I can't do it because I don't like B. Or I'm trying to stay off the B. Yeah, you've been hitting it pretty hard lately. That is true, I have. Alright, so I need to go to the surveillance room and see what's going on. Oh, but people yelling at you is pure 90s aesthetic. You can't have an FMV game without people yelling at you. No, no, sir. None of the guests know about it. Believe me, I'll do everything I can to keep it that way. None of the guests know what? What's she talking about? Frost! There's Nick Offerman. Uh, no, no. It's gotta be him, Punk. right? Yeah. Where were you last night? None of your business. Oh, everything is my business on this base. Especially murders. Murders? Uh, look, there was I know you weren't in your room. Now, either you can tell me where you spent the night, or Sparky's gonna get a little testy. <laughs> Dr. Payne will be getting rid of the body right away. Why don't you and Sparky go find a quiet little corner by yourselves? Look, I was stuck in the elevator, all right? Sure you were. Logan told me about your episodes, Frost. Wait a minute, you're talking about Alicia Kent. We already went over- Talking about Richie Seven! He's dead. You're not. Shit, Richie died. Yet. Oh, no. Who would want to kill Richie Seven? I'll have the scans by this afternoon. Hey! He just saw that guy in the pleasure pod earlier. How... What's the matter, Frost? Now he's dead? Nervous? He's good at random guttural screams. You gotta give Nick Offerman that. He is amazing at it. All right, time to check the PDA. Richie's dead. I feel like I'm being set up. Scudder is after me like a rabid dog. The only proof might be in those security scans. He hasn't slept in 48 hours, Sam. He looks capable of going another 36. How many stimulants do you think he It captures scans from resort cameras. Oh, every brain cell is dedicated to thinking Gibson, about the wound. Surveillance supervisor yes. Of the Department of Security. Sorry about the wound I've thing. Detected some abnormalities. That wasn't our doing. Beginning physical scan. I mean, sorry for having for everyone who had to look at it or hear it. <laughs> okay, you, want me to, you know what? We hit the hour mark. Y'all want me to keep going, or do you want me to switch games? How much time do you think you have in Nickelodeon uh, directors? Oh, probably fifteen minutes. Why don't you keep going with this a little okay, bit longer? Okay, let's keep going. I want to see. I want to see where this goes. We can also okay. switch. Okay, like a chat. Okay, this. Okay. I'm seeing mixed messages in chat. Uh, some say switch, some say leave it on. Uh, I see Angel Bubsy, so I guess I need to keep going. <laughs> I don't know how you can compete with this. Okay. All right. So now I need to go back to the lobby. Just keep going till you find a good end point. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So in the lobby, I need to. Okay. I, need... I hate this, but keep going. I feel the exact same way. <laughs> I, I hate every bit of this, but who else is going to play this? It's got to be us. Okay, we got the module in. And now we need to use the Telefax machine. Welcome, Welcome to Telefax. When it absolutely has to be there instantly. Oh, make sure you look directly at it Please. when it flashes. And then get scared. 
Oh no, I put foil in the microwave. Ah! That's what it looks like, right? Like. Thank you. Please come again. See, spike play, spike play, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, I need to check my PDF again. This is your receipt from Telefax, dated October 30th. Wait a Telefax, minute. Telefax, the translator to Lucas. This perfectly matches up with the telegram mechanic from Dracula Unleashed. This is just a parallel universe. Yes, it Who's is, Dracula in this case? It's Cyberpunk Dracula Unleashed. I think Drac I think that's just the general murderer of who's killing people. Here. It's taken me so long to piece this together because so little of it makes sense on the surface, but now that it's an actual gameplay mechanic, I'm starting to see. Just uh, Yeah, President Baby Yuna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go to the medical lab. He's got some star power in this game. You'd hardly know it, though. Why are they gonna let me go to the weird parts? Oh. Right. And... Walk through. Tragic, isn't it? He was so talented. What happened to him? Sonic went where disintegration. I envied him his creativity. His mind was uh, open. And how are we feeling today, Mr. Frost? Any more of those nasty V-backs? No, thanks. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better. There you go. There's your weird stuff. There you go. I know you want y'all. Hold on a second, that. thought. I guess I could use a booster. Mmm, that's some good V. Guess what I gotta do. Pain seems a little loopy, but I never liked doctors much anyway, did I? Well, I hope that second booster does the trick. Yeah, let's check this guy. Hmm. Okay, this guy's hand says 91493. That's a code for his hand. Listen. It's the future. That's a hologram of a human skull. Looks empty. Okay, uh, he died at 11 p.m. due to internal amplitude combustion. Oh, yeah, I've had that happen. Pain seems a little loopy, but... We call it a first appendix. Ah, uh, okay. Now I need to go to Richie's room. We could all use a booster after playing this game. <laughs> I just want whatever causes random images to flash in my brain and scream at me. Who doesn't want that, though? I mean, that's just the FMP game experience, isn't it? Alright, and that was 91493. Let's go! We got it. You solved the puzzle. Uh, Sam Frost, you should be a f working. Sorry, I was just looking for Mr. Hey, what's Seven. with the balls? He's not here. He's, He's got a ball Not ring. here! Right, right. Can you tell me where he is? Up here, he's up. Checked out. Yeah, I'll say so. P -p pardon? Nothing, nothing. Listen, you're the uh, public relations interface, right? Yes, and at the Alexandria, our most important guests receive my personal attention. Wonderful. Gee! Mr. Seven sure has lots of dirty clothes. Yeah, the other one's over there. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Typical PR drone. <laughs> <laughs> when I see Mr. Seven, I'll let him know you were looking for him. Great, great. Listen, I'm gonna go fix the digi fridge. Oh? What's the matter with it? Well, it something's wrong. Is your digi fridge running? You better go and catch it. I is it? All right. Well. Yeah, this video quality is something else. Neuroanalysis continuing. Stimulant level sixty-six percent. He's 66% stimulant. It's Richie Seven's sock. I wouldn't touch it. Let's see if I can get a little hunting here. No, I think that's it. Okay. Risa was acting strange, going through Richie's stuff, pretending she didn't know he was dead. I wonder when they'll announce the news. Hope they don't play his music all day. I never cared for it much. Richie is the Brian Adams of this universe. Okay, move it to my hands. And let's get out of here. 
Go to the elevator, and let's go back to the Tiki Tech Saloon. I'm ready. Give me some more drinks. Boost me, baby. Wanna feel like a kid again? Whoa, whoa, power down, power down. Spectral pod bugs me. Innocence pod bugs me. If you're gonna V, V. Hey man, something for everyone. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Neo Romans love that baby V. Take it with you, it might bring you luck. My name's Spencer. What's yours? Come out and play with me. Everyone's right. on drugs. Mm -hmm. They're all on different drugs. That's what makes it so frustrating. Brain scan indicates recent V abuse. Ah. Brain scan indicates recent V abuse. Spectral screen projector. It projects moving images to provide atmospheres and ambiance. This place needs it. Red's a little edgy. It's obvious he's doing V on the sly. I've seen it before. I also found out where the Neo-Romans like to hang. What about the Times New Romans? Uh, they like to hang somewhere much cooler than this, much more respectable. Okay, and I got a tiki god? Token? What? Oh, it's it's a squid. It's a tiki squid, honey. Alright. Alright, now I need to go back to the body station. Ugh, this is gross. There we go. Oh, yes. oh yeah, time for the body station. Time for toilets, baby. Who wants a body massage? Yeah. In the toilet. You have to strap in to use the toilet? Oh. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Who's this rat person? I love the rat lady! Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a snowman in the snow. If he hollers, let him go. Well, strap in for extreme ass dumping. <laughs> he had to undo a little fastener. Her identity is still unknown. Brain scan reveals unusually high intelligence coupled with extreme aphasia. Her identity is still foreheads are better than one. I just use simple basic toilets without restraints. I recognize Aster and Spencer. I'm not doing it right. I have no idea. I. I don't even know anymore. I got a photo. I need to examine it. An analog picture of four people. When you get a new item, it'll be in the new box. To Better put it, it in the teletext to machine to no, cyber info to scan it. To the out box. Got it. And yeah, actually that is what I need to do with it, so... <laughs> There's Minmo on the Reservoir Rat box art. Good. I'm glad to know that. That, right. that just completes it. Next, we need to go to the lobby to tell us. The is freaking Oh yeah, is that what the three seashells is? Yes! It straps you in, baby! Welcome, Welcome to, to Telefax. Do you mind if I just fast forward this? Absolutely has to be... <laughs> Hold on, here's your favorite part. Ah, as much as I like that part. Alright, so now I need to check my PDA. Wait, did I just say the, the thing you were supposed to do? This is this making sense to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sent I'm worried. To Lucas by Telefax. Okay. Let's take a inventory. Let's go on to the next part. I need to go to the elevator and go- No, no, I need to go back to memory lane! No! Alright. No! No, no, I don't want to know. No. Yeah, maybe I finally become jacked in. Is, maybe this is what being on V is like. Yeah, I don't want to go. <laughs> Boosting and juicing. Here we go. Go oh, just sit still, Sammy. This isn't gonna hurt a bit. <laughs> okay, I lied. So sue me. <laughs> now spit. <laughs> Give me that tooth, kid. Now open up. <laughs> Is that the tooth fairy? <sighs> ah, what a 
great memory. <laughs> Glad I could cherish it. Ah, time to look at my PDF file again. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Don't want me to examine it at all. Okay. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's fair enough. Okay. Neither do I. Yeah, don't take LSD at the dentist. What a bad idea. Okay, let's go to the central control room. Alright, and let's uh, go in. Hi. What? I just wanted to say... It's me and Alex every morning. <laughs> you have a tremendous uppercut. I'm impressed. Hi. What? Good. See ya. <laughs> what do you have against me? I don't find you very funny anymore, Sam. Bug off! Look, whatever there was between us, whatever I said, whatever I did, can we just drop it? Hi, I'm Sam Frost. Just what do you want? I want to know about Alicia and Richie Seven. <laughs> I'd like to believe that the man I was engaged to is not a murderer. Oh. However, as far as I can tell, you're more screwed up now than you were in jail. Engaged to her. Ah, shit, dude. Well, now we're getting somewhere. We messed up bad. You don't treat your fiancé like that. No, not You don't go on V and go to jail. <laughs> Men scans indicate she has written you over 300 letters in the last year. Non-posted. Wow. Hmm. It's the schematics for the access grid. Is being in jail a tech war thing? That could have been a very probable source of inspiration for this. Hmm. Okay, Logan William Kate Shatner's and I were tech engaged. war. That explains her punching me. I think. I got a new message. Hello, Mr. Frost. Sam Frost, just want to inform you we're having a little event in the fantasy room tonight. Isn't that thrilling? So I need everything running smoothly, all right? See you there, Sam Frost. We're gonna go to the fantasy room. I guess we gotta go to the fantasy room, all right. Yes. So... I'm ready. All right. So Everybody get ready to see my fantasies displayed on the big screen. Ugh. Okay, so you go to the elevator and go to the... Yeah. Yeah, everyone says her full name. Sam Frost. Sam Frost, you've got mail. Wow. Wow. Do I don't know if we want to go in here. That's okay. <laughs> Non credo homo squa. More term. More more to term. Sex dead tempo. Lavatory and veriat. And the MS in Nosha Hex. Damn it. Oh, I see. You haven't been bluffing lately, Sam. And you know what that means? Comedy! Oh, I didn't have my translator mark on. Man. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, it didn't tell me that I need to put that in until after it said walk through the door. So let me try this again. Oh, now we're gonna see the the video that makes sense. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> this will explain everything. Welcome to the Innocence Pod. Wanna play? Well, it looks like I just don't get a translation, so hopefully I'm not in a Walking Dead state. Honk, but... honk, honk, honk. But if I am in a Walking Dead state, we will find out soon enough. Yeah, Uzi, I could tell that too. It definitely sounded like Somewhere Over the Rainbow, but twisted and dark. It's sick. Sorry, Sam. A translation from the Neo Roman is not available. Did you fuck it all up? Schematic reveals some sort of disc carriage in his mouth. Uh, nice. Uh, Those Neo Romans are up to something, I know it. Lana seems to think so too. I only wish I could understand what they said. Alright. 
thank you, Simon, for the 27 month resub. Thanks for 27 months of full motion videos and nonsensical fantasy rooms. Sam Frost! I mean, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this journey. No, this is why you should do drugs. It's exactly like this. So oh. you missed the translation for a key scene, and the game just kind of rubbed it in your face instead of letting you fix your mistake. Yep. How about you just keep on going as far as you can until it kills you? Sounds good, sounds good. All right, so next, uh, it says remove the translator from my hands. Can do. And so yeah, this game is very easy to get into a Walking Dead state. It seems sure like. seems like, man. They could have easily just played the video again. Well, let's go to my room and uh, keep going. Keep going, baby. Plumbers are the heroes we need in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. An afternoon nap is a splendid idea. <laughs> Shut up, Spence. I want my nappies. I assume you can yes. die. Yes. An afternoon nap is a splendid idea. Okay, 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 okay. Now is leaving Wonderland 1101. Nap, nap, an afternoon nap. Nap, nap, nap is a snap is a splendid idea. No. It's not. It's not no. a splendid idea. I will not nap. <laughs> Gotta stay away from V. Seems way too glitchy. I don't care what they say. Even the holograms are screwing up. Come on, Sam. Everybody knows this face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's the... it's the face of too much V, or yeah. or you got some of that bad V. Okay. <laughs> got some of that skunk V. I've got a new drawing. A drawing of the world with an open door on it. Cool. All right. So uh, let's see. I don't have to tell it to that though. I actually have to go to the fantasy room. Mm, oh, okay. God. Back to the fantasy room. Where all of your fantasies come true. Here we go. Yes. Welcome. Your fantasy is my fantasy. Spence, you talk too much. Plumbing. We're actually plumbing. That's much better. And it will work. Finally, some honest work. Another chip. All right, put it on your key ring. Who's this yeah. pervert? CD-ROM kisser. Put him under arrest. <laughs> the biggest pervert of them all. Everybody wants to be a view repairman these days. Mm, v recorder. That's definitely not factory issue. Mm hmm. Must be a new model V lounger. Not yet listed in Matrix. Jackson Standard, Esquire. Mr. Standard is CEO of Neptunia, a soon to be world renowned poly conglomerate. At least that's what the access guide says. Neptunia, that's a very popular series. I saw somebody wigging with the V lounger. He took some kind of disc from a recorder. Found another chip, too. Right, let's, to baby. let's go to Neptunia and meet the Sega Hard Girls. 1.20 p.m. Malfunction in the filter grid. Jack some dust into the V-chips. Hello? I cleaned and spritzed them. Tried some V, too. This Spencer around stuff is okay. Clean, no burn, no V-backs. So far. All right, we're doing drugs still, baby. <laughs> see you, Gizmo. Have fun thinking about this. Yeah, good to see ya. <laughs> All right, we're heading to the TV Tech Saloon. Our friend can keep it together this time. Mm -hmm. Instead of flannel hallucinations. 
Timmy! <laughs> Doing the pods, dude! Hey, hey, party time! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! This guy's as sick as Scudder. <laughs> hey, Blue, what's with you and Scudder? That sick twist is convinced you're a killer. So? You're not, are you? No. Clear yourself, Blue. Take a zip of the security scans. Scudder keeps a bit on everything in this place. Who's your friend, Red? Blue. <laughs> Amusing. Could be. Lana Powers. Sam Frost. Richie Seven was dead. Yes, baby, I know. You let me find This place is off. <laughs> What's up with this Spencer guy? Genius. Totally inaccessible. And he's into V design, dear. Forget it. And what about those Neo Romans? News? Uh, don't ask about the Neo Romans, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, what was with that guy? Mr. Crandall, to you. Temperature reading is 58 degrees. Told Lana about Richie. <laughs> Old news to her. She's good. Real good. Gotta remember to take Red up on his advice. Scan the vids. Who does he look like? John Candy's close. He, he looks a lot like John Candy. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, go here. Go to surveillance. And I think we're gonna scan those videos. <laughs> Good. We still gotta to get to Nickelodeon. I think my brain may be approaching capacity. Regarding yeah, this I think game. I'm gonna give this about ten more minutes or so, and then we're gonna play Nickelodeon Director's Lab. Okay. How far through, for reference? Uh, let's see. Oof, we got a long ways to go with this day. Oh, we're not even halfway through the no, game. No, not at all. We got a long way. There's to more go. of this. How could there possibly be that much more of this? Ugh. Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's go through here. Yeah, you should have specified whether specified whether it was uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. That might have helped. Hey, you got those security scans yet? What? The scans this morning. You said John, Barrick, what are you talking about? I just left. Uh, them. Somebody took them while I was at lunch. Fried my digitizer too with this. Hey, hey, careful with this. This is lethal. You watching, you little pervert? Wicked glitch. Mm. Wake up, everybody. Wake up. One when armed Jack, the man with the axe zero, and the ace of diamonds went wild. The queen of hearts beat them all one. Hey, who is that? That's my room. Nobody. Okay. All right. PDF. Barrett Gibson, surveillance supervisor. Still checking physical abnormalities. Vid scanner records off the security cams in the resort, but it's broken. That's true. We did both see Somebody that glitch. It's not just us. And took the scans. Mm -hmm. Saw some weird things in the monitors. Now I know why Barrett can't take his eyes off them. All right. And in our inventory, we now have a laser gun. <laughs> You're going to fill up every single one of those inventory slots, aren't you? Mm -hmm, I'm barely going to use any of them. Alright, let's go to the pods. Potty time! P-O-D-D! -D. I hate that. Okay. Pods and loving. I'm going to put the anklet in my inventory. There we go. Yeah, security guy just has that power. I uh, trust him. Whoa, this is more twisted than usual. Hey. Hey, hey Nikki, aren't you? So what? Hey, what the fuck? Hey, where'd you find this? I gave it to Richie. He's dead. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. For what? I thought you liked him. Yeah, maybe I did. What are you, a flick? A cop? No. I gotta go, I'll see you later. Hey, wait! Thanks for finding this. Sure. I owe you one. The 
yeah. So did you did you did you figure out what's happening? I figured it out. What's happening? Uh, I'm gonna leave it a secret for you. Oh, I see. Nikki Seven, wife of the Sonic artist Richie Seven. Oh. Note. Evidence supports conclusion that this profile has been recently altered internally. <laughs> Laser belt, thanks for 17 months. We are not a cop. We are actually a cyber plumber. I returned the ink clip to Nikki. She says she owes me one. I'll remember that. Let's uh, get a little bit more time. I'll we'll just go to one more place. We're gonna go to the medical lab. Okay, that's always a good time. Ugh. Man, MC Escher said, this shit's too what twisted the... for me. Where's the oh, There is the elevator. Oh yeah, they hit it. <laughs> and now to the medical lab. The elevator is the horse carriage. The teletext is the telegram. See, see, it's, it's, it's just like Dracula unleashed. The but... last boss is totally gonna be Dracula. I'm calling it. It's Dracula. This plumber does not wear ties, so that's accurate. Upset dummy. You've come to the right place. <laughs> I love this cyber guy. Shut up. This is chopped. Oh, she's still a slammer. Three squares a day. Got some good friends. Yeah, just kind of slide it all up against the wall. That's fine. Uh, oh. Al and Payne sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I. -S -S what are you telling me, AC? What? Uh, okay, let's... It's a drawing of two people with the names Al and Payne. AC's still leaving these drawings around. She knows something. I can tell, but she's just too skewed to say it straight. I like her. All right. <laughs> and in our inventory, we have a pair of clip on earrings. How do we get that? Who knows? I like a girl who's a little skewed, a little twisted, a little, a little okay. fluffed out on V or whatever they say. <laughs> we have enough time, I think, to go to one more place. So okay, make this a good one. Uh, looks like we need to go to the lobby. Oh, good. I was hoping for the pleasure pods. No, that's actually after this, but let's go to the lobby. <laughs> it's William Shatner as Dracula. <laughs> this is too early now. We apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to the Alexandria. Our service matrix is temporarily down. We apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to the Alexandria. Our service matrix. Hmm, okay. Alright, and let's see if I have any more PA. I do not! So I am now in the Walking Dead state because I'm not able to, uh... Alright! Okay, why don't, you, why don't you save your game here and then head back to your room and try and sleep. Because that's okay. usually when Dracula Unleashed tries to kill you. Okay. Smart, smart. I'm using my experience with the ICOM adventure game genre. Yeah, I'm, I'm off the rails now, so let's, uh... Man, they just let you keep going all that time, thinking that you could finish the game, and nope. Yep. Okay, but, but, hear me out. What if we go to, uh... Okay, so we have a few more options. We can go to Lena's room, uh, Richie's room, Memory Lane, Fantasy Room. Do you want to go to the Fantasy Room? Let's go to the Fantasy Room one last time to close out our time with MTV's Club Dead. What a game. Come on, turn it up. Now, louder. But is that the best this thing's got? This is the big event? You know, I spent a lot of- Sam, Mr. Crandall wants his fantasy! Alright. Come on, turn it up, I say. Alright, I'm gonna put my face under his butt. Can I- can I get it? Oh, I do have a message! Hold on! Hello, Mr. Frost! Sam, it's a translator. Works with your PDA. Replace any spoken language in English. Comprende? Later. I, I know that. Synthetic simulant levels continuing to rise. Approaching 67% plasma. 
She's 67 percent coke. That's interesting. Man, that's a lot of plasma. Power to create a V fantasy. All right, so uh, there we go. Uh, that is MTV's uh, Club Dead. Danny, what do you think? I think that that is a worthy successor to the FMV games of our past that we've explored through on the Sega CD. It's like they looked at the Sega CD FMV games and thought, you know what, this is a little bit too comprehensible. Uh, people can watch these scenes and maybe understand what's going on. We gotta fix that. And thus MTV Club Dead was born. What the f- <laughs> None of that made any sense, and I'm sure it was by design, but why? Why? I am so glad, so, so glad y'all were here to see that. I love that Incredible. Game. What a game. Well, what a game. hopefully someday Alex will go back and fix his mistake, mm -hmm. and we'll see the rest of MTV's Club Dead. But for now, let's go back to normal. Let's go back to a time when you weren't an adult with knowledge of MTV's Club Dead. That's all <laughs> in the future. You don't got to worry about it. For all you need to worry about is elementary school and Nickelodeon. And what we have here is Nickelodeon Director's Lab. All right, let's get that started. Oh, I am waiting for a return to normality here. Okay, let's go. I may need to turn this down. We will see. Cool leopard print. Yeah. Okay, here's some audio. Hi, welcome to Nickelodeon Director's Lab, your full service production studio. I'm Melissa Joan Hart, and I'll show you around. In the lab, you can make videos, mini-movies, cartoons, whatever you want. You're in the director's chair, so you call the shots. Now let's get started. Oh yeah, before we go, type your name in here. <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart, Clarissa Darling herself. Garrett. Garrett. So this is another director game. Uh, I'll let Joan, this is the main hall. Joan Hart explain. This is where you enter the studios to create the different parts of your multimedia videos. For example, through the yellow door, the one with the paint splattered all over it, is the graphics studio, where you make background graphics. Next door is the video suite, where you mm -hmm. can play around with video and animation. Mm -hmm. There's also the music studio, the title editor, the sound effects studio, and the screening room. You can probably guess what happens behind those doors. And the place where it all comes together is the director's lab. First door on your left. Before you go inside any of the studios, yes. here are some pretty handy buttons you'll want to know how to use. Tell cool me about buttons. the buttons. This is the director's lab archive. This is where we've stored all kinds of graphics, music, and sound effects for you to use in your video. Great. For example, behind the Nick rocket ship, you'll find lots of stuff from Nickelodeon. That's Ren true. and Stimpy, Tommy Pickles, Double Dare Obstacles, you get the point. Tommy and Wienerville! It's a special place where you'll find everything you made in each of the different studios. Get opens up the Director's Lab archive for you. Clicking on Get is a great way to see what you can do in each studio. Cool. Click Save to save your work. Got Click it. Delete to get rid of the work that you don't want anymore. Click this red shiny blob to clear the screen and start over. Click this blue blob if you get stuck. I'll be there to help explain stuff to you. Just hit the space bar to make me go away. <laughs> And remember, every studio has lots of other buttons you should try. They do some pretty cool things. Now go crazy. See you later. Time to go crazy. Okay, so we're going to make our own Nickelodeon videos. So let's let's start from the beginning. Let's make a title. Okay. Or make a graphics here. Uh, I want to make, let's see, you can do uh, lines, frames, circles, uh, stamps. Uh, let's, let's make something with a stamp. So we've got the American flag. Mm-hmm. And um, I think we need to plus up the American flag. So I'm sick of these stars. Instead of stars, we're going to have the Nick at Night logo. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Nick at Night States of America. We've got some other things, too. we got splatters. we got... What is that? we got... Oh, we need to add a cat. The cat's like, ah, don't look at my flag. It's not ready yet. I like that cat. <laughs> um, we have different things. we got a stop sign. Uh, we got a hoop. I think America should definitely have a hoop. Um, that's something that I think really exemplifies America. Oh yeah, we're all about the hoop. Mm -hmm. Can I put it? I'll just put it here. Um, what that, else? That we got? cat's trying to dunk the American flag. <laughs> they are. Uh, we got things they can think like cool. Cool. Uh, what else can they think? Arg. Arg. Uh huh. And we've also got. 
and chill out and uh awesome awesome i, I think we should go with awesome yeah and what else we got we got let's see we got steak eyes teeth I think that the basketball hoop needs teeth. Yeah, them advertising Nickelodeon with the desecrated American flag was a real misstep. <laughs> was that a bug? Oh, cool. We need a roach in the corner. I like that. A Imagine the American flag, but with bugs all over it. Eyes on the spider. There you go. Big ass eyes. It's like we're playing a rare game. Mm -hmm. What else we got? We got... We got Find uh, 50 of me at each level. We have so many feet. That's a lot of feet. Okay, I'm sorry, but this flag sucks. It's going to have feet. This is the barefoot is legal flag. <laughs> there we go. Which is made up of uh, also tinier flags and various clip art. Yeah, it's it's not a good flag. Okay, I think this flag is seen enough. Um, let's save this. Okay, hold on. There any other? Th yeah, that's it. Okay, let's yeah, save this. Yeah, more like flag. Bigfoot is legal. Uh, this flag is called this. This is called good flag. Hopefully, that's enough. All yeah, right. that's eight and, characters. Uh, let's let's move on. So we can also make titles. Um, I think this is going to be called, uh, again, a Rocky Rodent theme. Uh, Rocky Rodent. Look at that skull in the background. The green skull. Hello there. Oh my god, it talks. Hello there. It likes you, Danny. <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing. You can click on almost everything here. And it does something stupid. I'm all about stupid oh. shit. I don't like that. Rocky <laughs> Rodent. You can move this around. You can... Change it. Oh, you can make it classy. Mm -hmm. But does it have the Tales from the Crypt font? I think not. No, it does not, unfortunately. That's a shame. Yeah, it is a damn shame, but it's got this font, so I'll stay with that. Uh, you can rotate it. And uh, you can make it really big. There we go. So, yeah, I am getting Rocky a human... Rocky Rodent. I... I don't know what he's going to do, but that's what he's going to do. I am getting a, a, <laughs> a humongous entertainment vibe from this. They were pretty influential. Rocky R. Okay, and we've got it. So great, we've got a title and we've got a beautiful graphic. Let's edit some videos. Yeah, make it into a video. So let's get our videos ready. Um, we've got videos of the environment, the beach, toilet flushing. Toilet, toilet flush. Toilet flush. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you can edit these videos frame by frame. Oh, cool. You can uh, make them go all over the place. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Okay. You can also have it just do that. <laughs> but the question is, what are we going to flush? I want to do four. And what should be in the middle? We've got the Nick at Night thing. We got, we got all these images we can use. Is that a dolphin? Let's flush a dolphin down the toilet. That seems dangerous, but... I, It'll fit. I Suction, I man. Did I, did, I, did, I, did I pretend I... How about the, the, the there dog there? Okay, we, I want the dog to be flushed. Okay. Yeah, that dog's going to get flushed. <laughs> okay, and then let's see. Uh, normal, and let's go to this one. Uh, add the dog again. Actually, we're going to put a dog in each of these. A dog in every toilet. That's <laughs> that's my campaign promise. Next one, more dog in every toilet. <laughs> you gonna do this man frame by frame? Yep. <laughs> Luckily, I'm pretty good at this. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this game is interesting because you they let you go in depth with a lot of things, but it's also surprisingly not in depth. Like, there's also a lot you just can't do, and it's it's weird because it's like they say dogs don't clog. Please don't flush. Do also, not... seen suggestion for more feet, but I'm sure Alex no, will get to that. No, no, please, no. Can we play the first ten frames? You want to see what it looks like so far? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I can fill in the rest with my imagination. No way, no way, no way. We're almost done. Right, <laughs> this has got to look good. So the dogs are going to slowly converge towards the middle here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. Seeing suggestions like click on the lizard... Should have used Nicktoon sprites instead of generic clip art. I can agree with that. That I agree with. And now there's only one dog in the middle. Whoa. You've worked your movie magic. So let's see what Here this looks like. Here it is. Wow. 
That's art. It's great. So let's save this as flush two. And let's get the fuck out of here. Now we can make our own music. Yeah, it's, uh, there's it's, a lot of instruments. It's dangerous to flush dogs. They'll just get large in the sewer. Uh, what instruments we want? I think we want, uh, I think we want, let's see, we want electric guitar for sure. Mm -hmm. So let's put in some of this. Don't worry about it, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So it's kind of Mario Paint style, but a little bit hobbled. Yeah, let's, let's add a drum. Yeah, you no, need no, percussion. I that to be... Yeah, let's add a drum to, to, to here. But... I'm glad they give you nine different music tracks. Even if the samples are kind of underwhelming. It's good. This is like this is just like Fruity Loops, you know? A lot of good music was made on that. Yeah, make Megalovania. Ah, oh, sounds just like it. This will be fine. Don't worry about it. Sound totally normal. We got uh, another Toby Fox here, people. <laughs> That's Megalovania, right? <laughs> This is going to sound totally normal and not cacophonous, don't worry. Uh, we need some cymbal hits. That's true. Nine nine tracks, but one note length. You cannot have half notes. You cannot have whole notes. Okay, it's just and then boops. some flute. This is going to sound like shit. <laughs> no, it'll sound fine. You know what I'm doing. Yeah, just fill in the gaps. Make it look like music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's how you do it, right? Uh, and next we need the piano. Yeah, give it that walk-in bass line. I'm going for a walk far, far away from this. So who wants to hear what this sounds like? Play it. <laughs> yeah, that was some total Club Dead stuff. I love it. I've heard worse music on this channel, and it was created by <laughs> professionals, supposedly. <laughs> All right, I want to add one more instrument, just just for funsies. Oh, you're gonna ruin it! No way! It's too much. Fart, 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 fart. All right, let's hear. Okay. This does sound like a gems engine. Yes. This is Kid Chameleon level twelve. <laughs> so it's good. It's uh, it's called good music. Or good musk, good like musk. good musk. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And again, you can click on random things here, and I think they do things. Or not. Yeah, if you sped up the tempo, it would definitely be crazy, but what? Huh? Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, next, we need to make sound effects, but for this, you have to have a microphone set up, which I do not, so oh, you can't do that. But we can uh, get another sound effect. So let's go to the Nickelodeon universe and see what sound effects they have for me. What's this sound like? Oh! Yes! So, yes. so I <laughs> want to turn on the echo. Okay, let's do some reverb. We're remixing Clarissa. Uh, I'm gonna remove the delay. How's this sound? sound okay. Sp sounds far away and like it's in my nightmares. <laughs> uh, let's turn up the tone. Doesn't do that much. Um, do yeah, I... bring up bring up sounds one on the mix and bring down sounds two. I don't know how to get that second sound in, but um, hold on, I want to do a weird delay. See how the sound. No, 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 no. Oh, you put a muffle on it. No way. Okay, that sounds like <laughs> hell. All right, all right, we're in hell for sure. See how the sounds. So really only let me do one thing at once? Okay, let's save that. Uh, it's uh, Claire is works. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> Claire is works. Closes. Okay, so we got some sound, some video. Let's let's make our video. Yeah, let's put it all together. All right, so uh, let's put in the graphics stuff I made. Of course, we have to have good flag. Right. Is going to be the background here. Now you can use your own. You can also use uh, other other things. So let's go back and let's get some Nickelodeon images. Um, we've Ooh. got 
Wow, Double Dare. We've got those cool dinosaurs. We've got to have Put in the cool dinosaurs. Um, We've got the Guts logo. Uh, Do you have it? We have a lot of Wienerville, which I know (laughs) y'all are huge fans of. We got any fans of Wienerville out there? (laughs) Me. Did they even exist back in the day? Me. We got Stimpy, Nickelodeon Studio, Rocco, a lot of Ren and Stimpy. Slides way too fast. Here. But a few of you completely forgot about Wienerville until this very moment. No way! How could you forget? It's Wienerville! Ah! I have to slide slow to actually get all the images. There's a lot of Rocco. There's Hold so on. much. Let's do a single image of Rocco. His yeah, brain's his splitting brain. out. <laughs> his brain getting out of his head. And uh, let's put in. Uh, Nickelodeon logo, everyone's favorite. There we some go. Some have forgotten about Wienerville, some have not. Okay, let's put in our title. Our title is, of course, Rocky Rodent, because I assume Rocky Rodent made this. Yeah. Let's put that in twice, and uh, let's go to the video. So, let's go to the video I made. It's a really beautiful flush. It's a good video. And uh, let's let's uh, go back and put in some other videos. Yeah, what else we got? Well, we've got this is Nick stuff. I see. Uh, let's see. We've got cool cat hat. We've okay. got that. Mm-hmm. A cool chicken. Oh my god, the memories—they're coming back. Yeah. So we've also got we've got guts. We got that fucked up. You got uh, Egg and a Spoon, which you all remember. Hey, I remember that. Yeah, it turned into a weird thing. Are you uh, you all... all, uh, Oh, we got... Hold on. Disco Dog. I think I remember that guy. We got any Millennials? We got any uh, Gen Xers? It's Disco Dog. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. I remember him. You gotta use that dog. That dog's cool as fuck. Um, You got a pie in the face. But, you know, I, I wonder, do we have... A lot of Ren and Stimpy in the Rugrats, of course, and of course, someone being slimed. Naturally. Uh-huh. Right. I actually do kind of Live shot from that. the RetroPal studio. But what I really want to see is, oh yeah, Wienerville. So let's put on some Wienerville here. <sighs> Gotta have the Wienerville. It takes up multiple slots. Sure does. <laughs> All right. And, uh... Welcome, fresh... welcome, welcome freshman. Welcome freshman intro, right? Welcome freshman. Right here. That's, that's exactly what we need. Who remembers okay. the 90s? I sure don't. So let's go back <laughs> and let's add, of course, our music, our beautiful music. Where's my music? There's my music. We're activating so much in our audience right now. People Sorry. are just waiting to hear the phrase, welcome freshmen, and they're going to go ballistic. Okay, there's that music. So we need more music because that's not enough. So uh, let's put in. Oh, <laughs> oh, but some of you are too young for this. Yeah, unless you lived through the '90s, this might be unfamiliar. Oh, they don't have the Wienerville theme. That's a shame. How about Rugrats? That sounds like shit. Absolutely. That's a copyright dodging <laughs> Rugrats theme. Okay, sound effects, uh, stuff I made. <laughs> okay, that sounds hellish. Uh, I think we should have that at the toilet flush. And here, and here. We yeah, yeah, today's effect. special. What, what about us 80s kids? We're, yeah, not being, yeah. we're not being catered to. We've All got, you kids into your new stuff like Wienerville and Cat Dog and whatever. We got... Nick, 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 Nick. We gotta add that? Agreed. Okay. Okay, so I think this is gonna drive a lot of people... Uh, Insane. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got anything else? Oh, we go go slower. Go go slow here. Nick drip. I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. Uh, laughed. No laughs here. <laughs> no, uh, we're serious. Giggling farts. There we go. Hmm. That's a pretty good fart. I need some fart. There we go. And uh, anything? I think that's it. Okay. Now, uh, of course, we need wipes. Right. Unfortunately, they don't let you make your own wipes, so you have to use whatever they have. Well, that's a wipe here. Oh, they don't. They don't have very many at all. No, they don't. It's a shame. A wipe here. Maybe that can be DLC. Mm-hmm. A wipe here. And uh, another wipe. Let's say here. All right, I think that's it. All right, uh, save it, produce it, save export our it. Video, it's under multimedia video, so we're literally making multimedia. Put it into Adobe Premiere and watch it crash. Premiere. 
All right, so uh, who wants to see our great video? Let's watch it. Okay, let's. Uh, the Retro Pals room. premiere. Here it is. Our new video. This is going to be our channel trailer. Okay. Okay, let's. Uh... Uh, okay, fine. Let's, let's do it. I guess I gotta get my video. Yeah, get it. Stuff I made. Why is it not in there? Where is... Is it because you turned on video to go? I think so. There we go. You gotta get it first. There we go. There, okay. Premier. Premiere. Roll them. I'm sorry. <laughs> so nailed it. Perfect. I think we got back to the fantasy room. That's the perfect. That's how we turned off Club Dead. That's the perfect encapsul encapsulation of the Retro Pal stream right there. Na 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 na. You know what? One more time. Do it. Roll it again. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Click the applause sign. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. 511 bits from No Problem says na 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 nick 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 na nick nick na 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 nick 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 na 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 nick 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 na na na. That's appropriate. Thank you. Oh, sneaker nets. Uh, you you don't want to see what you missed? No, no. I am gonna need to take so much V tonight to <laughs> to to make me forget all this. <laughs> the welcome freshman at the end just kills me. All right, uh, that's that's Nickelodeon Directors Lab. A, a true delight. I'm sure if I had this I, as, a, as a kid, I would just make things that were equally incomprehensible. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Exactly. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> wow. So, uh, what'd you think of uh, my work in director's lab? Well, this was a stream of highs and lows. I would say the first uh, hour and a half was a definite low. A valley like I've never seen before. <laughs> and then you raised me right back up again with Nickelodeon Director's Lab. So I'm just <laughs> on top of the world right now. I'm so glad. Thinking about Clarissa Explains It All, Welcome Freshmen, uh, Bootleg Rugrats theme. All my favorite Nickelodeon things. You, you brought me back up, Alex. And that's what you always do. And thank you for that. I am. I'm so glad. Well, that was uh, our look at Viacom New Media's uh, games that I can access. Um, yeah, a very brief look at them. We still have more games to show off. Of mm -hmm. course, the the famous Beavis and Butthead Virtual Stupidity. Mm -hmm. We gotta we gotta do Zoop. Zoop is yes. a classic of Viacom yes. New Media. Mm -hmm. But that just gives you a glimpse of the true multimedia programs they produced. I still can't believe that Club Dead is a legit follow-up to Dracula Unleashed. It just I know, used, right? It used all the mechanics. It just made them all cyber and twisted and incomprehensible. Wow. I, yeah, as a scholar of the FMV genre, I feel like there was a hole in the history that I knew that's now been filled because we saw so much of Club Dead. Yeah, uh, I kind of went long there, and thank you all for sticking around for that. I just really wanted to show that game off. It's. I'm glad you did, and I'm glad I know about it. Uh, FMV games just got a little bit too weird at the end. So mm -hmm. much so I'd never heard of the later ones, including that one. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Yeah. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Multimedia Monday, your educational resource here on Twitch. What did they learn? You learned about the 90s. You learned all the shows that were on Nickelodeon. You learned what living inside an MTV bumper was like. You it's... learned all, all sorts of stuff. And we're going to learn even more later this week. Tune in on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, where we're going to play a PS1 game that our patrons voted to see. This is a game by the name of Pet in TV with My Dear Dog. The, oh! That's the title. I'm also going to try and seek out other dog-related games for uh, for fun times. Fun well, PS1 dog games coming this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Dogs, Central. Dogs, dogs, are they flushing down the toilet? Probably. Cool. <laughs> it's going to be a good week of flushing dogs down toilets. Alex, wrap us up. I will look for a host. I was going to say, I, I, I got compared to Ferguson. Thank you to everyone who's not compar comparing me to Ferguson, because if I recall, he's a diehard Reaganite, and I am not. I think it was in, like, the Margaret Thatcher Fan Society at one point. I think so. Would they yeah. call him the Ferg Turd or something? Yeah, Turd Turdson or whatever. Tur tur turd Ferguson, that's what okay, they called so, him. So, um, if you would like to support us, um, we do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash retropals. Uh, pitch in five bucks a month and you get access to our weekly polls and you can vote for things like Pet the Dog TV Game. What's it called again? Pet in TV with My Dear Dog. <laughs> you arranged all the words differently. <laughs> How could I have remembered that? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, what I, my brain is ruined. Hey, mine Thank too. Thank you. Thank you. Uzi, Uzi screen capped the, 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 the fucking Nick thing since we're not doing clips now. Thank you. Um, what else? We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash Uh, we post highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is, uh, part two of our look at high tech expressions. It is interesting. It is cool. It is high tech expressions part two. It's very so, high tech. Mm -hmm. So do check that out if you are interested. I'm and interested. You're interested? Good. Yeah. Someone's got to be interested here. Okay, I think I found a host. You found someone? Cool. Ready to wrap this up. Everyone, yeah. go cleanse your brain. Go uh, overdose on V. Whatever that is. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's something. If we ever play that game again, we're sure to find out. Until then, enjoy our friend Absnerdity, who is messing around with the FPGA mister. I've actually enjoyed seeing people get new misters and just mess around with the things that's available to them. You see all sorts of weird things. It's just like, I'm going to load up this game based on the title alone. Whoops, it's porno. <laughs> oh, no. That doesn't happen often, but especially if you're on the PC-88. Yeah. But, but right now he is playing Master of Darkness for the Game Gear. That was a that Castlevania-like Master System game we played on Mascot Friday a few weeks ago. Ooh. Starring Dr. Ferdinand Social, our favorite... Uh, Ferdinand Social! Ferdinand Social, our favorite video game hero and social media mascot. <laughs> Alright, have a good rest of your day. Uh, try to forget all the tweets saying. Na, 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 na